Right, people, how to draw a diamond rose. Now, I'm going to use Procreate. You can use whatever you want, pencils, paper, pens. The only major difference, as usual, is I use red for my sketching. Just use a normal like, red, uh, black pencil, because red's kind of hard to rub out. Normal black isn't. So first off, you just want to make a diamond shape. So I'm just going to quickly turn on symmetry for two seconds, just to make a diamond shape. Site. Symmetry off. So you want to make that, once you've got that diamond line, just make another diamond sort of shape, just in the center of it, keeping that distance roughly the same part the whole way around. Like so. Now what we're going to have this gives you a rough circle in the centre, and this is going to be our rose. We're going to have some petal bits going off the outside. I want one petal bit just here to overlap and come over this. And I think we're going to have a couple of leaves just up there. A bunch of leaves down the bottom. And I think maybe a moon shape. Just at the top, like so. So I'm going to start off with the rows. So to start off with, I'm going to bring a line across here. We're going to create this one base petal. So it's going to come across. It's going to bend down, bump up, and go there, behind there. And it's always good doing this because this gives us a base to make this part of the rows off. So we're going to bring a line coming up, coming out, curve, and curve again. And we're going to curve this back, come close to this corner, bump it out, and come down. So we're just creating one sort of like leaf petal to sort of make a placement. This one's going to come out a bit more straight this time, and just create one curve here. But again, curve in to that corner, curve out, like so. After setting a bit, we're going to bring a line coming up and curving down. I'm going to create a curve out here and a curve out here. You want to make sure these kind of sit a bit further out than those corners just there. Bring in another little curve there, so just curve, curve back, curve in. And one on this side. Come up to a point, curve back around, create a little curve in there. We're just building up layers at this sort of stage. Just creating interesting shapes. Curve off the back here, I'm going to curve this up to a point, curve this around there. Curve, bump it back in. Right here, I'm going to have this line coming in just behind this. Come on down to a point, curving out, curve back around and come in behind that point again. A little curve here just so the bin of a sort of put roughly in this sort of position. So just drawing this inside that diamond shape. Another one on this side. Like so. Another one that would go there. So that builds up the basic row shape. Then we sort of sketch in the uh, leaves. So we're going to get a line down the centre, coming quite high, bring this down quite low so there's quite a bit of line on this, and curve this line back. And from the bottom, create a curve, 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 curve. All kind of coming down to the same point. Line out, coming down, curve, 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 curve. Very similar to the other ones, so nice long line. Bring it up, curve around, curve, 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 curve. 
Curve, curve, curve. It hasn't got to be the exact same amount of curves. And I like to make them not the exact same distance apart. So one too close, one bit further away. But that's basically the formula for these leaves. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's the basic <coughs> diamond rose. So it's going to create a new layer now. I'm going to pen this in. If you did not on here, I'm going to use the uh, hard airbrush. If you did not on paper, I recommend using um, like something like Unipen Fine Liners. Just done that symmetry on for two seconds, just while I quickly do the diamond outline. Rub out the bit where it just cuts in the uh, moon because I want the moon to sit on top. So I'm going to create this moon bit now. There we go, so the moon's in there. I'm going to create a line coming up. Line out and around. Line up, out and around. Line up, out and around. Out and around. And then we've got the rose. I'm going to do most of this all in the same line width. And I'll come in the end just with a bit of a thin line and just put in a few little detail areas. Now it's important to get those nice kind of smooth lines. You know, with your pencil, you can be as messy as you want. When you're putting in, try and pull your lines in one smooth motion. You know, I try not to flick them in you. Know, don't go like this few lines. Get in the habit of like nice, fluid, smooth motions. So now we've got the basic bold outline. Like I said, I'm going to come back with a thin line now and just want a few little detail bits. So. so we've got a line across there, a line across here, right across that bit just there. Little line just down the centre. Those little curves we've done just here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
So we've got that, it's going to turn off those sketch lines. So we've left that nice crisp, uh, crisp outline now. Drawing that off. So now we're ready for some shading. So I was going to select soft, soft airbrush here. Now the only major difference between paper and on here, and that's on digital, we tend to go over the line and then rub out the outer edge. You did on paper, just don't go over the line. It'll make your life a lot easier. So here I'm just going to shade on that diamond shape now. Pretty much just over the under part. So anytime it sort of like overlaps, I'm going to create a shadow underneath. So just here. And one bit just here to even out the sides. I'm going to bold in some areas so it's on the inside, so I want that bit bold, that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit, and lastly, that bit. All those bits that are kind of in the background. I'm going to go back to the airbrush now, I'm going to create this nice black shade. Just at the base of the roses, like so. And now I can put a little bit of my black shading inside, a couple of bits inside the rose. Not too much and a bit softer. Just there, where there's like a sort of curve on it. So these two little curvy bits. And some inside parts. So just here. On this inside part of this petal, and just come in here quite big on these edges. Just here underneath this section. Just here, the base of this petal, just behind it. A little bit on the inside of that one. And just a little bit there. Not too much, because there's quite a bit of black in it already. I don't want to put too much black. Raise a little bit, just there we go. So now I'm done now. I'm gonna put a layer underneath the black. We can start adding a bit of color. To start with, on that moon, nice golden yellow. I want to color in. Those leaves are nice golden yellow as well. So 
just like so. The rose, which has got a nice traditional red. And some bits will be bold, some bits won't. I'm going to put the red here, just going over those black areas we've done. Just leaving a nice kind of highlight just through the center of it. Oh, one second, I'm doing this on the wrong layer. There you go. So, a layer at the bottom. That way you don't go over your stuff. And the black shows on top, so the shading shows dominantly over the top. Just rub out those outside bits. Few areas are going to be solid, so I'm just going to colour in quite a bit of big sections of this. Then I'm just going to erase the bits I don't want. So all these bits are coming out the edge that I don't want overlapping. And these bits on these little overturns I'm going to do a slightly different colour. Take these bits off. I'm going to make these a bit more of a pink tone. Put some layer underneath. That will go over the rest of the rows, like so. Erase any bits you don't want around the outside edges. Then you can colour in that diamond bit around it if you want. I quite look how it looks like that, but possibly a bit more solid grey. Credits on a new layer. Just gonna make that a solid grey and just erase a little bit for a couple of highlights. Just a little highlight just there, just there, and just there. And there you have it, that is how to draw a diamond rose. Hope you like it. If you draw it, tag me in it. I love seeing what you guys do. Comment, like, subscribe. You know the usual routine. Check on videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.